July 18th, 2012, and currently working on trying to get rid of some, I guess you would call it malware, like, and some automated, um, embedded, like, advertisement programs, so there's two different ones that pop up on my computer, <clears throat> one of them, I can show you really quick, uh, first of all, this is a program called ASWMBR. Um, it's able to so it's doing a, a scan of my computer. It has uh, something to do with uh, viruses and malware. But the reason I got that program in the first place was off of this website blog from the website Bleeping Computer. And this person is talking about the same issue, one of the same issues I'm having is actually the more, uh, at least uh, visually, uh, more frustrating issues. Um, like, if I'm just like going to a website or click a link on a website, this would take me to another link. Sometimes it'll take me to the, um, this bottom one click find search engine results and it'll take me to like some random website that sometimes has some thing similar to do with what I'm trying to go to so anyways it's <sighs> um, this person just printed out what's called a, a DDS log I'm hoping I'm trying to figure this out on my own without having to post this website because I know I noticed that um, a lot of people volunteer and they if I scroll down far enough the only one of their only ways of getting paying is through PayPal donations um, but anyways this guy is very helpful he has over ni 91,600 posts since just in the last four years and he has very in-depth but simple to understand um, details and he um, his first recommendation was to run a program called security check and he said to run combo fix. Um, I haven't, I've ran combo fix before, so I'm not going to run it at the moment unless I have to. Uh, combo fix is a very powerful, like, uh, ad, anti adware and malware program. It, like, once you start running it, it's all automated and runs on own and it chooses what it wants to delete based on what it thinks it's supposed to so it's a lot more powerful than you know programs like SpyBot and Adaware <coughs> so when you do run it um, it's going to delete what it wants to it does create a restore point but just saying it that program could delete something that you might, may not want deleted. But, um, so this person just responded with his log <coughs> from both the security check and combo fix. And then, and then he recommended the next program re scan he recommended was called CDSS killer. It, um, it's supposed to find like um, like imposter like root key files, and I already ran that, and it actually found like one file and then like three attachments to it. So, and it deleted them, and 
so far I haven't noticed um, the you know the one thing where it like automatically redirects me to that <coughs> the wrong page. Um, the other problem I'm having in the bottom right hand corner which hasn't happened yet either so maybe it's fixed already but um, heard my neighbor or someone else out in the hallway saying something <laughs> really weird. Anyways, um, wow. <laughs> this is an interesting. So I'm sitting here making a video about fixing my computer and this happens. Oh, I bet you it was because I left that program open. <laughs> Oops. And I didn't reboot the computer. Maybe. It's probably auto reboot. Well, it's obviously auto rebooting. Well, that stinks. Because <laughs> I wanted to talk more about that. Good thing it got off that crashed dump screen, and hopefully it's not really crash dumping my computer. <laughs> because on my desktop is start windows normally is um, I have a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and it's almost completely full. I keep having to you know go back and choose stuff to delete whenever I want to, you know, make videos like this using my iPhone 4 because even though it's not the world's greatest video camera um, it's actually kind of a good thing because um, it's like a, a very l lower rated it's like 720p um, if you know, it's pretty high def if you watch the videos on your iPhone, but when you watch them on a computer, they get stretched out and look a little grainier. Of course, the iPhone's screen has a lot more megapixels than my computer monitor does, as far as, you know, volume. Alright, so, didn't crash on my computer, <laughs> thank God. Um, there was a warning in the blog saying to, um, to be completely safe to back up your computer externally and I had to decide not to do that so if it happens it's my fault um, if I lose anything important it'll just be um, like almost every single picture I have has been uploaded online mainly to Facebook um, somewhere on way back on MySpace and but I have a, a good chunk of videos that haven't been uploaded to YouTube or any other site yet so it's be memories forgotten All right um, some other things I can talk about um, until I make sure my computer loads up all the way it does take, it really doesn't take that long to, for the desktop to load, like right now I could start like opening just base program, but it hasn't connected itself to the internet yet, which is a whole other story, I'm kind of really not getting great reception using, using neighbor's Wi-Fi. Um, Turn the light on. <laughs> I um I'm now completely switched over. Uh, I was taking the operant clonopin, clonazepam. I'm now um switched completely over to operant Valium, which is Dazepam. And the reason I have two different size tablets is because I am, I was trying 
to taper off of clonazepam. My doctor was, you know, saying it was safe to taper straight off of that, but oh, this is cool. I recently took my medication and like my vision just got like crystal clear. So that's one of the awesome side effects of this stuff. <laughs> kind of like putting on a pair of glasses it's awesome uh, but anyways I've you know this, these medications are meant for the short term um, but since I switched over the Dazepam is you know working really good the clonazepam's effects were wearing off Dazepam you know works in a different way and it has a longer half-life it's the only recommended benzodiazepine anti-anxiety to taper off of like you have to integrate switch over to it I switched over pretty fast because I realized how good it was working um, you know it took I think it took me about a week and a half to th two weeks to switch over instead of like the recommended um, three weeks that might taper schedule I got from this patient handbook but and then as I was tapering over I drop like you're supposed to drop down two milligrams a time so I've already done my first taper down off of this particular medication I used to be on um, anywhere from I was taking anywhere from two and a half milligrams of clonazepam to three milligrams and the, the equivalent dose of dazepam to clonazepam is 10 milligrams of dazepam for every half milligram of clonazepam and I had before I switched over to this medication I had made it down to one and a quarter milligram of clonazepam a day but I could like hit a wall to where I like oh yeah first of all I only have had not only is it not only are you not supposed to come straight off of clonazepam especially after like the drug is wearing off um <clears throat> I only had I had the larger one milligram tablets so um when I was trying to cut like take off a quarter at a time and it was already hard enough to cut um, a one milligram into a quarter, you know, cut into a half and then cut the half into another half and get it, you know, equal every time. I mean, this pill sprayer is pretty good at doing that, but um, anyways, this is like, it's so perfect that Dazepam comes in really small forms in America because, you know, like, since I'm on eight milligrams, you know, I just, you know, simple math, just take one five, one two, and cut it two and a half for my afternoon dose. And then, um, then every week just cut down two milligrams, and then when you get to, um, I think it's when you get down to ten milligrams total a day, you, it recommends you just cut down one milligram a week every after that and it actually says one to two weeks based on how you feel so it gave you some leeway but so far I've been feeling really good and like I was tempted to cut down a, a day early today oh, but I don't know I'm, a, I'm messing up my sleep schedule again I'm staying up late <clears throat> and I my alarm did go off oh, I was taking my morning dose at 6 in the morning but I didn't took it late and then I purposely took my afternoon dose a little late that way I wasn't taking so much close together because this stuff of course you know it's technically Valium so it has some hardcore effects and I don't want to be like feel you know too drugged up 
which by the way if I if I take my doses evenly on time I don't even feel drugged up I actually feel like very positive and want to get out and do stuff and at the same time just like I'm saying I am proactive and because of the horrors I went through with being on clonazepam so long I and staying on schedule to taper off this and can't wait to be medicine free. Um, okay. Oh, one other interesting thing since I was on the subject of computers before, I have my older computer tower <laughs> sitting here that I bought back in. <coughs> late 2000, I don't know, middle to late 2004, and yeah, definitely late 2004, so I, I remember it was my third semester of college, and so almost eight year old computer now, and it's Windows XP, it was a base model from Walmart that I had gotten for like 500 bucks all together with a monitor um, don't think it came with a printer but anyways um, real quick um, I have a antenna that I believe uh, I had I mean I bought this antenna sometime shortly after getting the computer. I th think. I'm thinking, anyways, it doesn't matter. But, anyways, the funny thing is, this older computer, when I hook it up, um, I don't know if it's because of where, um, uh, this will make sense in a second. Uh, the only video, I don't know, even know what serial is. I don't know that much about older computers, but this is a VGA input for, for your monitor. Like the blue cord right there. My new computer has both, you can either do DVI, the more high def cord, or VGA. Um. <laughs> But anyways, I have the reason I'm even showing these USBs and puts on the back is because I have, if you can see it poking out of the back of the computer, I have another wireless antenna that's it's it's like a, a lower rated N model, and N is supposed to be better than what this is a a G G class which came out before N. But the funny thing is, uh, I've tried hooking this antenna up to my newer computer, which I got in 2008, which was actually a, it was around $700, and it came with like a nice computer scanner that I had to sadly leave behind when I left Florida. Oh. <sighs> yeah, heck, the, I remember the computer monitor retailed for over $400 by itself so with the computer and the um, nice scanner pr printer that came with it it was uh, it was definitely at Best Buy it was definitely the best deal at the time I remember there was like a, s a similar computer right next to it and they had a list it was so funny because they had it listed for like a thousand bucks, so...